what is going on everyone it is fatal reaper here today bringing you a video and today we are on cold war once again as i as promised we are on zombies we're doing the highest settings highest ultra and everything in between uh, before we start this video be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and i really appreciate it so let's get into it so zombies of course is the biggest thing of cold war no matter hands down you can't deny cold war you're all everybody's waiting for the zombies and here it is and the map that it has is die machina um now at first i was expecting to reese something like that but what you don't know what i didn't even know and realize this is actually the world at war map um the original map so we're going back to the original and this is the original map so it blew me away i didn't even notice that for a second i just spawned in and i was like oh okay um, so, the zombies is a lot different. So, zombies, um, in here are basically just like multiplayer. You know, the zombies have a health bar, uh, and whatnot. You can buy ammo for your gun. Whatever gun you have, I believe there's ammo stations around. So, that makes pretty, I mean, that adds pretty much to it. You know, when I first got into it, I thought for sure I would hate it. I'm not gonna lie. And but i didn't i mean i just I, the way the it, way it works now with their health bar your health bar down there obviously you can see it just it's, it's about the knowing part of it it just adds so much more to it and i just honestly quite enjoyed it more than regular zombies honestly i thought for a minute i wouldn't kind of remind me of special ops back in Modern Warfare three days but you know i i really enjoyed it and then playing of course in the old world at war map again was ridiculously insane and i just loved it um, with that being said, though, um, I did encounter a lot of new stuff, which I don't know right here. So this is the power. So the power, it's going to tell you where to go and how the rooms to go, obviously, just like all the other maps all before him. You're going to have to open this door that I just opened. You're going to have to then click the power, and that turns the power on. But you're not done yet. You do have to go click the uh, terminal sources, and it kind of reminds me of 5. And I don't know if they're actually using that as kind of a reference or what, but it kind of reminds me of the map 5 from, you know, Black Ops. Anyways, you click these two terminals, and of course, you guessed it, the first thing that went through my mind is Pack-A-Punch. And of course, it is the Pack-A-Punch uh, machine that it does have. Um, in this video later on, you will see how to do Pack-A-Punch. You do have to get a part to it, throw it in, and it pretty much just makes the Pack-A-Punch machine. So it's not too difficult. It explains to you what to do. Um, and of course... It's not Call of Duty Zombies without the mystery box. And right here, I opened it for the first time. And I was like, it was just blowing me away of how cool it was. This is the first gun I got out of it. Of it. Um, I didn't get any, like, mystery items or anything. Or mystery items. You know, like, uh, I guess you would say exotic guns. Like the ray gun or anything like that. I didn't see. I did see something look kind of like a thunder gun in there, maybe. Uh, but I have not got any so far. But I did get to pack a punch later on. And you guys will see that. So, you know, stay tuned for the end of the video, or you can skip to certain parts. This is the dog round, so these are the new dogs. Um, they're called Plague Hounds. So, it kind of reminds you of, uh... I keep thinking of the Acid Guy from Black Ops 2, um... The, uh... The, what is the map called? Did I really just forget the map name? I'll think of it in a second. Anyways, um, you know, that's really... Really what I kind of thought of was the acid guy and everything like that when the, um, plague hounds is what they're called. Um, of course you get a max ammo afterwards, but, um, uh, it's Mob of the Dead. I don't know how I didn't think of that. So Mob of the Dead, kind of reminds me from Mob of the Dead, uh, kind of vibe. It has a lot of vibes from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 3. I mean, there's just a lot of everything. I do miss Gobble Gum. I wish Gobble Gum was back. Maybe they'll add it back later on. So this is the black hole you're seeing right now you're going to go through. And this is how you basically make the Pack-a-Punch machine. So at first, I'm sitting here clicking, clicking, like, what the heck is going on? I actually think I'll almost go down here in a minute because I didn't realize the zombies can travel with you. Um, so, and shotguns, I have to say, shotguns really, really, really do good in zombies, especially when you first start out. But, um, yeah, so basically you're gonna go to this, uh, I guess this is how you do it. So, I went up here, it took me forever to figure out where I was going, because, I mean, new map, you're lost. Um, and I haven't seen any gameplay of zombies, the only thing I saw was a zombies trailer, I haven't seen any of the gameplay. So, you know, I was kind of just winging it, so... You go up here, um, you can upgrade, like, armor right here. I don't even know if that was there before. I didn't really pay attention, but I did upgrade it real fast. Um, 
So when you get, and that's speed cola, of course, which I didn't know what that was. At first, I was like, what, what is that? Is that a new perk? I have not noticed any new perks as of right now. I've noticed a lot of old ones. Deadshot, uh, Speed, Speed Cola, of course, Quick quick Revive, and Juggernaug. So, if you go up here, you will get, um, it's called, it's this, it's tunnel thing it's telling you to go through. So, you go through it, um, I think it cost you 500, yeah, it cost me like 500. So, when it pulls you back down here, I don't know exactly what the point in all this was. When it does that, you're going to grab a part, and you'll see it right there. You grab the machine part, and when you grab it, you then run to the Pack-A-Bunch machine, and then basically you made the Pack-A-Bunch machine. So it's pretty simple. It's nothing crazy, kind of like um, you know other maps like trains and stuff, which I, I've heard they bring you trains it back, and I hope I hope they do. I would like to see that again. And then bam, it just makes you the Pack-A-Bunch machine, as you can see. And then like I said, here in just a minute, I'm going to Pack-A-Bunch a weapon, and you guys will see that. So you transform back, go through the portal, and of course here it is, and it costs 5,000 to upgrade. I do not know exactly what all this other, I guess this the increases the happened? damage and stuff, kind of like the old Black Ops 3 and stuff. So, and here's a mini mid-level kind of like boss, and I don't know what he is. I guess he's, kind of reminds me of the Warden from Mob of the Dead. Um, he was annoying. You, I literally, it took me forever to take him down. And it doesn't, it gets so much better than that. After you take him down, he splits into two splits into two. So, after you take him down, I had to go get pack a punched weapon just to take him down. The only good thing about this is you can use stem, so stem help really help me out. But, um, once I got the pack a punch weapon, I pretty much took him down pretty easily. Go for headshots, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I took him down. He's like a mid-level boss. Um, he's, you know, kind of like the mom of the dead, uh, wardens. But he's much, much harder. So, after you take him down, he will split in two, so be ready. It's going to split in two, and they're even harder to kill, to be honest with you. They're slower and do less damage, but I almost went down multiple times um, in it. Uh, but after this part, you're not really going to see much. It kind of skips over. So, in this little part right here, I basically ran to the um, Pack-A-Punch, and I finally got my Pack-A-Punch weapon. And, of course, that's going to help out so much. And, of course, you know, you upgrade it, and then, bam, you can upgrade it again, obviously. Uh, but, uh, I did go down right here, and I did have to use Quick Revive. So, don't forget about Quick Revive. See, those are the two things I was talking about that split in two, and they follow you around, and they're even harder to take down. And they do so much damage, though. Luckily, again, I had Quick Revive, so it helped me out. Um, I ran back, and I, uh, of course, took them out. And I guess Zombies now has kind of like an end. You can end it. Um, so, I, you call for the radio over here that I did and it calls for a chopper. Sadly, I went down afterwards, so it calls for the chopper. You see that, and objective started. Um, it's evac. The problem is, when you get over there, you're over there and everything, uh, it gives you time limit to run to it. it. Doesn't take long to get to it. it. Tells you exactly where it's at. It tells you where everything's at on, on the map, and um, even the perks and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool how it does that. But it wouldn't let me get on the helicopter without taking down uh, all the zombies around me. And sadly, uh, as good as this gun is, I wind up going down. Um, I was literally, I, I thought I was, I thought I had it. I took almost every one of them out. The gun just, this gun shreds. It's a LMG and it shreds when it's upgraded, which I'm pretty sure every gun does in this game. Uh, upgraded, but it was just insane. And then here, in just a second, I think I go down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the plague, plague hound that got me down. And then after the zombie, yeah. So I go down right there. And it was game over. But, you know, guys, hey, be be sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.